called Nightcap Village Development. It's Nightcap on Minjunbul. This is Minjunbul territory. Um, country and we're in a joint venture with the tribe in relation to returning back to tribal ways, cultural ways, coming from the heart, do no harm and respecting the mother, um, the sacred country that we're on. We're on a very sacred parcel of land here in northern New South Wales. It is around about three and a half thousand acres of land. We have significant resources all over it, unlimited water, unlimited power, sunshine. It's a community that's being built around uh, the town that we already own, which is a town by the name of Mount Burrell, here in, again in northern New South Wales. And um, for us, it is our, our staging point for our expansion in the rest of the country to show people that you can actually live a completely different paradigm. And the reality is it's available to everyone. It's certainly within price point for, for most people. It's within um, understanding and concept. It comes back to heart, to nature. Um, for us, this development is a, is a sanctuary. Everything we're doing is complying with the rules of the Matrix. I just played that short little clip to remind you of what this development is supposed to represent. All the principles that they sell this idea on, that uh, so many actually believe in and feel it with their heart. It's not a sales pitch, it is who they are. And these are the people that get drawn into um, this development. Back to heart, uh, back to country and land, and uh, the one I like, do no harm. Well, is it actually true what Mr. Adrian Brannock says about do no harm and, you know, the spirituality and bringing it back to heart and all that that legitimate feeling people actually believe in does this man actually believe in what he says well let me show you something this here is a pdf a pdf word document of an email now this down here is AB's email address. Uh, we don't know what the PBC stands for, but APB is um, Adrian Peter Brennock. AB is his, um, but I know this is his business email address. Through um, other things, I found out this was his email address and forwarded on this little email to him, to Adrian Brannock. Now I'm going to read mine out. I might not be able to read his response out because YouTube might censor me and pull the video down. I will put a copy um, so that you can read it for yourself if you can't read it on the screen. So on the 9th of October 2020, uh, you are that's the first name, going to jail, surname, sent AB an email. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. And how long have you been deceiving now? Who have you deceived? You have deceived no greater than you have yourself, thinking that your house of lies and cons won't fall apart before an Asian buyout. Already video evidence out of your own mouth has been amassed against you. So that tight little mouth of yours won't be able to spin more lies and can't hide under the ones you have already spun. And tell me, how much is the offer from the Asian Consortium and what are their conditions for purchase? Your video with Mark Darwin priceless confessions of willful intent to deceive and defraud the government and frustrate any legal processes that come against you. Willful intent followed by all your actions of the last four odd years makes for a pretty good base lawsuit against your frauds, not by me, by those you willfully and intent intently set out to deceive. Words out of your own mouth the government, the bank, the tax office, and even trying to hide behind tribal law to escape your own laws. 
nice true confessions, willful intent to defraud. Your latest reincarnation of the scam, well, there are so many more eyes on you this time, watching, waiting, for you to make that one final slip up. And sadly for you, your ego doesn't know how to not slip up. Keep stroking that ego, it's good for evidence out of your own mouth. Now you could say that's a rather challenging statement to receive in the email. But I have to tell you that in business you can get far more threatening letters sent to you by some little person posing as a lawyer, you know, on a day-to-day -day business. So ultimately what I'm saying here is tough, but you know, um, I'm sending this off to the developer of a project that's been valued at $36 million and a bankrupt who is actually disqualified from actually conducting these activities is spearheading the whole development, pushing the main narrative of buying into this. So this professional guy, this AB, come from the heart, back to, to land and country, do no harm. What is his response to this challenge? Could have just ignored it, but instead, well, let's have a look at what he said. Now I have to tell you here, I counted them all up. There's 151 emojis in here, and there's 627 words, and if you take out the Bajas, um, there's 625. So you could say that over one-sixth of this conversation is purely by emojis. And seriously, even my daughter when she was 9, 10 or whatever, and she'd send stupid messages to her girlfriends and that, none of them would ever be as childish as this. But let's see what Adrian Brennock's response is in between all the emojis and what I can actually read out there are some things you'll have to read it or hopefully you can see it on screen I've enlarged the font so you might be able to read it so yeah ba ha 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 all the emojis rolling around on the floor laughing my eyes out blah 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 what an ignorant little redneck retard you are hilarious we are loving this and how upset small-minded haters like you are. You are you are just so easily stumped by facts and logic. 17 court actions and 17 wins. Actually, at last count, I thought it was 18, but, you know, it's their story. They can change it. Sorry, I'll read it. <laughs> 17 court actions and 17 wins for us. So, ah, yeah, wow, you've gone full retard so quick. <laughs> and then all the little baby emojis and, you know, carry on. This is very professional for a developer in charge of a multi-million dollar project, isn't it? Okay, it gets better, though. It gets better. You even set up a secret email address because of the fear of me. Ooh -hoo. I love that I've scared you like this. Thanks for sharing, dot, 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 dot. I couldn't be happier to know how upset and unhappy and in turmoil you are. It's exactly what we expected from such simple-minded cowards. God, this is fun. Little praying hands, praying hands. Yeah, he's going to need a lot of them <laughs> by the time I'm done with my charges. Anyway, back to the story. I bet you're checking you email to see if I respond. And by opening this email, I got you. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. We just found you. More stupid emojis. Such ignorant fools like you. It's like you're on a yo-yo and I've got you just spinning here now. Fuck, I love that. You're obviously an ing ignorant well, can I say that word on YouTube? Well, I suppose I can. Cunny says it. Um, you obviously 
an ignorant cunt rag, and by the looks, a spiteful, toxic old man hating whore that is too spineless to put a name to her whining drivel. Is this type of behaviour why you aren't married or with anyone? And now we're getting into some territory where it's like, why do they keep up bringing up the pedophilia? Mm. I wonder why. It's almost like they're trying to draw attention away from what they might be doing. They keep bringing it up so much. All right, uh, so back to the email. Or are you part of the known pedophile locals? Show me who you are, you gutless coward, or come and meet me. You know where my farm is. Or will that derail your plan? Bahaha. <laughs> More stupid emojis. Fucking loving it. Come on, you old slag. Meet me. I couldn't even pay you like the old days when you were whoring yourself out. Wahaha. <laughs> More stupid emojis. And I'm in stitches here. Well, I'm in stitches here because this is an email that the developer of a multi-million dollar project <laughs> sent to a complaint. Okay, this is essentially a business complaint. And this is definitely not the way you handle it. Okay, so, oh, I'm in stitches here. God, it's good to know I've affected you so much. Come on, sweetie, show your face and you know I will take you down as well. You're shit scared of me and hiding like that cowardly dog barking away. Yap, 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 yap. Dot, 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 dot. Childish emojis again. Well, fuck you, you brainless twat. Dot, 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 dot. And bring it on. Dot, 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 dot. We've got millions. Chinese flag. Mm, I'm wondering if that's confirming the buy-in to the Chinese consortium. Hmm. We've got millions. Chinese flag now to find you with I've already got people tracking down the very easy trail you left well it would have been a lot easier if Max hadn't got my other video tracked um yanked yeah I'll give you everything in there so I don't know who the brainless twat is but anyway let's keep on with the because he doesn't get Dick of the Week award. I'm not even sure whether he gets Dick of the Month. I think he deserves Dick of the Year for this one. Anyway, let's keep going. I've already got people tracking down the very easy trail you left. Expect a call or a visit. I'm finding out who you are and where you live. Well, I thought he already knew who I was because back in my whoring days, he had me. But, um... Clearly, he's uh, a bit bipolar. Sorry, I digress. I'm finding out who you are and where you live, and I'm coming for you too. Hope you've got a house and a cap of air to pay us. I tell you what, this is where I'd put in a million laughing emojis because, no, mate, got nothing. Nothing. And that's not bullshit like you spend. That's true. Okay? Can't get blood from a stone. So back into this. Oh, this is so much fun. Thanks for your email. Say, say his to G for us. Maybe you can share a cell with her when I'm done with you. Oh, by the way, you old cunt, I'm blocking your email, Addy, as well now, just so you have to set up another one to reply. And that's down to more time for you on me setting up another maybe leaving me more info to find your house. So off you go now. Go jump through that hoop. I want to, to, little doggy. And then I will set up another one for you. And another, and another. And I already own the town and the multiple farms. And now I own you. Laugh, laugh, laugh. More emojis. You can be my next little bitch. Oh, and I also love your tone from the fan letter you sent. Shows you you're completely alone, toxic and despised by others and you have no life at all. And for you to spend this time on me and us, dot, 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 thanks so much for your energy. I love you spend so much time in turmoil over me. Woohoo, whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't know how you pronounce that one. 
clap my hand, clap my hands, and you can suck my cock, ignorant, you ignorant, toxic old hag. We love how upset you are. More emojis. I'm sharing this to everyone for a laugh. Thanks so much for sharing it. It's made my day. Love hearts, laughing. Oh, lots of tribal love coming your way. When we find you, see you soon. Thumbs up on hitting my skin. Thumbs up on hitting my skin. Have a great weekend, sweetie. Blowing kisses and rainbows. Kindest and best regards. AB. And more lovely emojis. And applauding me for my effort. Well, I tell you what. I've got to applaud you, Adrian Brennock, because I couldn't even get a child to come up with that, that, let alone the developer of a $36 million project that is supposed to be in charge of investors' monies and competent, even able to act like an adult. And if this is the way that you respond to... Um, a customer complaint, I tell you what, the people that have invested have got a lot of problems. Because if you're not at the top rung of the scale, well, put it this way, if you're at the top rung, you're going to jail. If you're on underneath that, there's a good chance you may go to jail. So, you know, the thing is that I've got, um, I've shortlisted the um, absolute evidential breaches to the law. There is over 36 of them. And that's the strong evidence. The secondary evidence is just as many. And we'll tie in with everything else. A lot of this doesn't even have to be proven. Adrian Brennock is a bankrupt. He cannot participate in certain activities. He is disqualified from doing what he's doing with Nightcap. Being a developer, he's disqualified from that. Representing a $36 million development, he's disqualified from doing that. N not telling anyone when he's promoting what he's not allowed to be doing, that he is an undischarged bankrupt. Ah, look, and that's just on the bankruptcy. There's also the Criminal Act. The Criminal Act's got about uh, 16 breaches. Some of them you actually have to get uh, the consent of the Attorney General to proceed with charges, um, action against them. That's how serious it is. So the question is, not if these, some of these people are going to jail, it's how much jail time they're going to do. So when you read this very mature letter from this multi-million dollar developer, and he says that he's coming from heart and means no harm, this is that uh, email that was sent was the one and only response sent from that email address. No other contact. And this is the response that you get. All right, so the name, you are going to jail. So what? You know what? I've been called far worse things. I've been called everything. And with people making up names, I mean, that could be an email that I'd use to send to a lot of people in government too. But... I digress again, because I just wanted to introduce you to my dick of the year. He's really shown people the lack of professionalism. Does he mean no harm? Of course he doesn't mean any harm. This kind of talk in his email is as hateful and toxic as him. I don't speak like this. Well, I did. Uh, as I read it out, but uh, that's the only time you're actually going to hear me speak like that because I don't speak like that. I know others that do, but it's not me. And do no harm. Oh, look, thumbs up to hitting my skin twice. I know that um, that would not be an unsubstantiated threat in that I know he's carried out threats. I know he's hurt people and other people's belongings. He's got other people to do it. Uh, of course, when you run a criminal conspiracy um, organisation, you've got to have some kind of thugs to protect you and carry out the hitting on skin side of it, don't you? 
That's why you can sit back and make all these stupid comments that you think that nobody else is ever going to hear and see just how pathetically stupid, infantile and ridiculous it is. What a joke this man is actually in charge of anything. He can't even be in charge of writing a proper sentence. Doesn't know where to put a full stop. Doesn't know where to put capital letters. Completely illiterate. 151 emojis and threats. Yes, and uh, that's enough to get him on criminal charges on that one alone. But, you know, that's kind of petty. When you've got so much stuff already in the criminal side of it. And uh, that will be the subject of up and coming videos. Uh, I'm taking a break over the weekend. I've had my head in a lot of paperwork getting all these charges together. So um, it might take me uh, a day or so to finish putting it all so that it's effective and it gets the job done. Because uh, I don't intend to not have results come of this. There is too many multiple breaches and if the police failed to act on it, I'd then go over their head because they've got a boss. And I would then ask why, with all the gravity of these charges, why hasn't anything been done? Everyone's got a boss to go over the head of. But that's going to be lodged this week. Criminal charges. So that's something for Adrian Brennock to look forward to. And uh, the uh, criminal conspiracy and association side of it that's for all your mates to worry about because you're not in this alone even though you may be spearheading it you are certainly not the only one that's going to come down when this is all bought out publicly anyway I'm going to leave you with the dick of the year and Adrian Brennock and something to think about and I will leave a link for this in the um, description below. And any of the ones that have been trolling me on behalf of the Nightcap community, as I said, it would have been so much easier to actually know who, where I am if your good buddy Max Egan wasn't such a little sooky bitch. <laughs> yep. So you couldn't even find it on BitChute now because that got pulled down because Max Egan's mate didn't like that he was getting called out. So, um, And the one that I did um, re-upload is edited because I actually believed that it was me disclosing my name and address that got me yanked. And funnily enough, it hasn't actually got yanked yet. No, it's not on this channel. I put it on other channels first to see if... Uh, it would make a difference. And if it doesn't get yanked down after I got a threat today from someone, oh, I'm reporting you, so I'll give them a couple of days, see if it gets deleted. And if it doesn't get deleted, I will re-upload the video where I do give out Max's address that got it all, you know, that started all the controversy on that side, especially on BitChute anyway. So enjoy my dick of the year. Enjoy uh, pondering a very professional Adrian Brennox reply to a um, rather challenging complaint from someone. But I have to tell you that uh, I've had far worse complaints in a professional capacity than that. And you certainly do not respond uh, in any kind of professional capacity with that. That is just, I don't know, that's not do no harm, that's not coming back to heart that is just going straight to hate well I don't think whether you're at hate already whether you can say you're going straight to it because that that is very toxic talk very toxic and I tell you what he does a very good job of conning people if you even think he's a nice guy this is a toxic man with toxic words and he's illiterate he's a bankrupt in charge of a $36 million development. And I tell you what, if you put money into that, I'd be shitting bricks. I'd be shitting bricks 
Not so much about the money you've lost, but whether you're going to jail with him and the rest of them. Because conspiracy to defraud is what's been going on for a long, long time. Don't forget that the next time you want to listen to someone like AB that wants to spin a yarn. Look at his face. You can see the toxicity in his face. Stop listening and start looking. And I'm going to leave it at that with my dick of the year, Adrian Brennock. And also check him out as Andrew Brennan on Facebook. <laughs> Catch you later.